DOR, say what's going on, Mike Borders with the Mike Borders channel. Thank you for watching. We're talking Mercury Mariner outboard engines. We've got a three cylinder, 40 horsepower. We are going to replace the fuel filter. Let's get started. DOR, we have made our way to my parents' boat, and on the back of the pontoon is a 40 horsepower Mariner outboard, and this is a three cylinder. Scrolling above right now, as well as down below in the comments and description, will be a step by step video on replacing these spark plugs. However, again, in today's video, we are going to be replacing that internal fuel filter right there. Kind of tough to get to with that oil tank installed. We are going to carefully remove that. In addition, we have fuel lines or hoses and a fuel water separator filter. DIYers down below in the comments and description will be a link to replace that as well as a link on where to purchase a brand new replacement filter. Camera now position, here's the flywheel. Again, here's the oil tank. And on the very top where the oil tank secures into the bracket, you've got two 10 millimeter bolts. We are going to carefully remove those and just be careful as you do this because once you remove those bolts, the oil tank will basically fall back. And because of that, I've got some bungee cords I will use to properly support it. And in addition to that, make sure your plug is secured and your caps on tight. The last thing you wanna do is remove these bolts and the tank fall back and spill oil everywhere. Not good. Go slow, no need to rush this. 10 millimeters. These should not be on there very tight. DORs do your absolute best not to drop these inside the engine. And you've got a little washer and little rubber grommets. They're about an inch long. And from here, again, you've got little washers that you can peel up and out. And those are important to remove because on the inner side, you've got these little studs that basically lock the plastic portion or bracket here of the tank inside the brace on the engine. From here, ever so carefully, just shift the tank back a little bit and again if you're not careful you can actually give the tank its free ability to basically fall and on the bottom side you've got connections and I'm just going to again carefully allow this to rest down. Take a step back DORs here is where we are configuration wise at the moment again we have carefully removed the tank not fully but bungeed it up ever so carefully as shown there. And just be careful. On the bottom side, we have an electrical sensor or connection, as well as the fitting where the oil feeds out of the tank into the hose and to the oil pump and into the engine. Don't put any strain on these fittings or connections. However, again, there is the fuel filter. And honestly, it looks like it's got some age on it. So replacing it is a good idea. And on either side, we have a hose and zip tie. We are going to carefully cut those zip ties away and remove the filter. There's the part number. Down below in the comments and description will be a link out where to purchase again, a brand new filter. In addition, taking into consideration or noting that little arrow right there, that is extremely important when installing the brand new filter. We want the arrow pointing the same direction toward the engine. Camera now in position and I've grabbed my zip tie cutters. And as you do this, just do your absolute best not to cut the hose. That would not be good. You would have to replace your hoses, which honestly isn't a bad thing, but again, just be careful. In addition, I have put some shop towel at the bottom portion of the lower cowl to catch any fuel that leaks out. I don't want a cowl full of fuel after the project is complete. There's zip tie number one and zip tie number two. Sorry if I get in your way. There we go. From here, just grabbing the fuel filter and carefully pulling the hoses off. And do your absolute best not to twist the hose. Just carefully maneuver the filter back and forth as you simultaneously pull the hose down. Down there pretty good. So I've got some needle nose pliers just bringing it inside the gap in between the hose and filter and just carefully pushing the hose off. And it's possible it will leak fuel, but DIYs, that's normal. Coming up to the top portion and do not aggressively pull that filter. Again, just go slow. I'm grabbing a flathead screwdriver coming inside here in between the gap and carefully pushing that hose off. There we 
There we go. And again, there's that arrow. From here, I just want to clean up the hose where the brand new filter is going to be secured to. And any fuel that dripped out. The OR is at this point, the old filter is removed. Let's go grab the brand new one. Make our way to the front of the boat and to the brand new filter. And there is the replacement part number, OEM Quicksilver, as you see right there. Now to a closer view of the comparison of the old filter on the left hand side and the brand new filter on the right. And again, you want OEM. However, down below in the comments, we will have a few options, OEM as well as aftermarket. There's the arrow right there. Back to the outdrive, I've got my left hand and thumb on the back side of this fuel hose and to support it as I insert the fuel filter. And just carefully insert it as shown here until it's all the way flush on the hose. And again, by pushing the back portion of the hose on the opposite side, it allows me to push that filter all the way on. From here, coming to the front, and I may actually zip tie the back side first. And again, just ensure that the hose is flush with the base or top portion of the filter and secure it with the zip tie. After that's tight, just carefully clip away the excess portion of the zip tie. And again, like always, just be careful. Next, coming to the very bottom, and this hose feeds into your fuel pump. And just loop it around. And same thing, just carefully grab the filter and support it and push that hose on. And all the way up, as far on as you can. Followed by securing the hose to the filter with the zip tie. Double check everything. Again, arrow feeding away from the fuel pump and into the carburetors. And from here again, just double check everything. And if all looks good, which in our case it does, I'll carefully remove the shot towel from down below and resecure the oil tank. To a different camera angle, I've removed the bungee cord and bringing the oil tank back in and aligning these rubber grommets. And as I insert and lower the tank, just be careful. Again, you don't want to harm any fittings or any hoses or electrical wiring down below. And from here, I've got the little plug as well as the 10 millimeter bolt. I'm going to ever so carefully align the thread hole and push that in. And do not cross thread these bolts inside the threaded insert. DIYers, these should go in extremely easily as shown here. And we'll do the same thing for the opposite end. Followed by using the 10 millimeter socket and ratchet to secure these bolts and inner plugs. Do not over tighten these, but you want them snug. From here, just double check everything and the plug and the cap and down below. Take a step back and now to a close up view of the brand new installed fuel filter. And there it is. The wires, we hope this helps. We still got some work to do and we are going to be replacing again the fuel water separator filter as shown there. If you do not replace that well over the years, it's going to fill up with water and get to a point where it has no room for additional water. And where's that additional water going to go? Through your fuel lines and into your engine. What's that gonna do? Bog your engine down. Your engine will be sluggish and you will think it's dying or having some serious issues when really you just need to replace your water separator filter or the fuel filter right there that we just replaced. Again, double check everything, and if all looks good, which in our case it does, we are going to start the engine. We're not going to bore you with that. However, we are going to do that and launch the boat and go for a cruise. <laughs> 